there are two very important concepts in real analysis supremum and infimum now supremum is a concept related to a set that is bounded above bounded above set supremum is a concept related to bounded above set and infimum is a is a concept related to bounded below set okay now let's define what do we exactly mean by supremum of a bounded above set so supremum written as sup of a bounded above set now essentially any number u a number u uh, such that such that it satisfies the following two conditions number 1 a is less than or equal to u for all a belonging to a so we are talking about some set a okay so this means that a is an uh, u is a u is an upper bound okay u is an upper bound number 2 with the the thing that it needs to satisfy is that u is less than or equal to v for for any other upper bound v upper bound v of a okay so what do we exactly mean by this we mean by this that u is an upper bound plus u is the least upper bound so this property actually tells that in case there is any other upper bound apart from u that is for any v any v which is also an upper bound then u needs to be less than or equal to that that means that u needs to be least upper bound okay u needs to be the least upper bound and that is what is supremum so supremum supremum of a means that u is the least upper bound so u is a supremum of a that means u is the least upper bound you can have a lot of upper bounds but u is the least upper bound now some things that i want to talk about right now number 1 that supremum of a will be denoted as sup a okay whatever element it is it will be called sup a denoted by sup a okay number 2 it represents the represents as i've just told you represents the smallest upper bound or least upper bound smallest upper bound or least upper bound okay smallest or least number 3 it has to be unique it has to be unique this is a very important property it has to be unique okay in the definition of upper bounds what did we say in the definition of upper bound we said that any set can have a lot of upper bounds so when we were talking about an open set 5 8 i said 9 is an upper bound even 8 is an upper bound 10 is an upper bound anything above than that anything greater than or equal to 8 greater than or equal to 8 would be an upper bound but which is the least upper bound 8 is the least upper bound so sup has to be 8 okay so that's what it is saying that it has to be unique it will be a unique number okay now another very important thing that we will see in few other examples probably later is that the sup might belong to the set or it might not belong to the set 
in fact we can see that in this example itself i have taken an open set 5 to 8 okay an open interval 5 to 8 and i'm saying that 8 is the supremum now 8 is not belonging to the set because it's an open set right so but still it is the supremum of the set so it might belong it can either belong to a or maybe not so these are very important points about supremum that we should know okay now suppose we have let me just prove for you let me just prove for you the uniqueness part okay let's let's try to prove that suppose we have suppose we have two supremums two suprema the plural would be suprema okay for the set a that we are talking about okay an arbitrary set a so say u is supe also v is supe okay then according to the definition according to the definition what do we have u is a supremum that means u is less than or equal to v for any other uh, upper bound v right now v is a suprema v is also a suprema so v also has to be less than or equal to u for any other upper bound u so now these two things what do they tell us if u is less than or equal to v, v is less than or equal to u, that means they have to be equal to each other. So, they have to be equal to each other and that proves the uniqueness of sup. So, supremum, therefore supremum is unique. Okay.